The stock camera on the Poco X3 is pretty good, but what if you want something different? Then you'll probably want to try Gcam. I've already made a Gcam install video, so if you have installation questions, please check it out right here. For this test, I wanted to try something new, so I tried two different Google camera ports, one from developer BSG with an XML file, the other from Arnova 8G2 with no XML file. For these comparison shots, I left the apps set to their defaults, which are both Gcam set to HDR+, and the Poco camera to HDR Auto, and here are the results. Basically, the stock Poco camera gives you a flatter image, while our Nova's G-Cam increases the contrast and saturation slightly, and BSG's G-Cam is super punchy, but less natural. In terms of which camera app looks closest to reality, it's generally the Poco camera, but sometimes our Nova's. Before I get into the selfies, portrait mode shots, and night shots, I'm curious. If you have more than one camera app installed on your phone, do you actually use both apps? Let me know in the comments. And if you're enjoying this review, please give it a like. Thank you for that. Check out these selfies and portrait mode shots. For this test, it looks like Arnova's took two portrait mode pictures instead of a normal selfie and then a portrait mode shot. And the second shot looks much worse with an unrealistic amount of red in my face. Not very flattering. BSG's isn't bad, just a little soft on the focus and significantly more background blur than the Poco camera. In this blue shirt shot, I think they all do a decent job, but the Poco does the best at identifying me and blurring everything else. Just look at this gap between my arm and my body. The Poco doesn't get it 100% right, but it's closer than the G cam. This last selfie was taken in pretty low light. All three cameras are a little blurry, but I think the Poco camera and BSG's did the best, since the scene was pretty yellow in reality. For night mode, the Poco camera easily wins. Its images are sharper, with more accurate color reproduction. The general look from each camera remains the same though. Poco camera is pretty flat, Arnova's is more saturated and contrasty, and BSG's is very very saturated and contrasty. Important note, if you really like the look from either G-Cam but want to use all the features of the stock camera app, you can get closer to the G-Cam look if you force HDR or turn on the AI mode in the Poco camera. I only tested one video feature and that's stabilization. The Poco camera easily wins if you only care about non-shaky video, but the price you pay for that stability is poorer overall image quality. In general, stock cameras always beat out G-Cam for video shooting, and that's true on the Poco X3 as well. Two fun things, Poco camera can take 48 megapixel photos if you don't mind the huge file size and record 960 fps slow-mo video in 1080 which is really cool and you can check out a gcam slow-mo comparison here if you want to know more thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about gcam or anything else please leave a comment below and i will answer it perfectly